वेलकम बैक गाइस टू आर एंड्रॉइड प्रोग्रामिंग ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन टूल बार आई एम एनी फ्रॉम स्मार्ट हर्ड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द कॉन्टेक्शुअल मेन्यू इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इन आर टूल बार यू नीड नॉट वेरी गाइज इट इज अ वेरी सिली कॉन्सेप्ट दैट मेक्स आर एप्लीकेशन मोर अट्रैक्टिव एंड मोर यूजर फ्रेंडली लेट्स प्रोसीड विद द कॉन्टेक्शुअल मेन्यू इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इन आर टूल बार बट बिफोर दैट Let me tell you what is contextual menu. Now, guys, contextual menu in toolbar. We can see on the left side there is an image of the Gmail application. There is a toolbar here with a navigation icon and a title as social. On the right side we have the menu icon as search icon, and there is a list view showing the emails. When we long press one of these items in the list item. our toolbar changes now how does it change we can see on the right image when we select a mail our toolbar has changed the social that is the title has replaced by the number of selection that we have made in the list item the search icon have been replaced with various other menu icons there is the download icon the delete item the save item and there is a overflow menu This is what contextual menu is. On the left side there is the normal menu that we have implemented in our toolbar. Now in this video we will be learning about the contextual menu implementation in our toolbar. Let's move to Android Studio and write codes on contextual menu implementation. Now guys this is the contextual menu dot java file that will be executed when we click the third button in our main activity. The name of our layout file is contextual menu dot xml. Now, guys, this is where we had left our application. The third button was for the implementation of the codes for contextual menu. On clicking this button, we move to the next activity where I have already defined a button. Let me explain you the basic codes that I have set as of now. This is the contextual menu activity. which has the set content view of contextual menu i have defined the contextual menu dot xml file where i have included the toolbar like the other two activities that is the activity toolbar which we have used in the stand alone toolbar and toolbar as action bar implementation the only thing i have added here is the button on clicking this button our toolbar will implement the contextual menu let us move to contextual menu dot java and see the codes I have set the title the subtitle of the toolbar like the previous two toolbar implementation I have defined a button here the menu has been inflated and the set on menu item click listener has been defined here it is the switch case statement where we can perform various actions as desired I have set the toast which will be displayed on clicking the item Now for the implementation of the contextual menu in our toolbar we first need to define an action mode and now let us add the on click event to our button and let us define the on click listener for our event Now what happens when we click the button when we click the button the contextual menu is inflated in our toolbar like the main menu dot xml I have defined a contextual menu in our menu resource file. In this contextual menu dot xml, I have defined a single icon for the purpose of demonstration. I have used the save icon. You can use the icon which you like. The icon for save, I have declared it in the drawer folder. Now let's close it and write codes in the contextual menu dot java. Now what happens when the button is clicked when the button is clicked the action mode that we have defined above will be assigned a value now when the button is clicked the action mode is initialized let us write the code for the action mode action mode is equal to contextual menu dot this dot start action mode and in this action mode we need to define a callback method to call this callback method we need to define an inner class for that i will name the function as contextual callback 
Now, this is showing us an error because we haven't defined this callback method in our activity. To do this, let us define a new inner class in our activity and call the contextual callback method. The inner class we defined as class contextual callback implements action mode dot callback. Because we have implemented the action mode dot callback, we need to override all the methods that are being included here. So for that, alt enter implement methods. We need to implement all the four methods that are included in the action mode dot callback. Click OK. And here we are. The on create action mode, on prepare action mode, on action item click and on destroyed action mode. Now guys, we need to write the codes for on create action mode. And before starting with the codes, let us return true. And now let us start writing code for on create action mode. This is the method that will be called when the button is clicked. When the button is clicked, the action mode is initialized where the contextual callback is called. When the contextual callback class is called, the first method to be called is on create action mode. So what happens at the very beginning? At the very beginning, the action mode inflates the contextual menu. That is action mode dot get menu inflator dot inflate r dot menu dot contextual menu and this is the menu which is passed in the on create action mode. Now what happens once the contextual menu is been inflated? Once the contextual menu is being inflated, let us include a title into our toolbar. That is action mode dot set title my action mode. Now when the contextual menu is inflated into our toolbar, our title will be changed to my action mode. And there will be a subtitle. And here it is, we have set our subtitle. Once the contextual menu is created and the icons, the titles, the subtitles, that is the content of the toolbar has been changed. The next action that is to be taken is on action item clicked. We can define the functionality of the menu icons that are being clicked, that is on action item clicked. We can use the switch case statement like we had used for the normal menu icons in the toolbar. So here it is. Next is on destroy action mode. This is called when the contextual menu is shut down. That is when we click the back button or we unselect the selected item due to which the contextual menu was inflated. Or in other words we can say on destroy action mode is called when the action mode is completed. Let us run our application and see the contextual menu implementation in our toolbar. Okay guys, here is our application up and running. Let us click to the contextual menu button and here is our button clicking on which our contextual menu will be inflated. Let us click on this button and see what happens. Now our application is not running. That is the contextual menu is not getting inflated on clicking the button. Let us find out the error that we have done. Here it is. This mode is the action mode that we have used inside the on create action mode. So it has to be action mode because these two are same. Same in the on prepare action mode, on action item clicked and in the on destroy action mode. So here it is. Now let us run our application and see if it is working perfectly fine or not. Click on the contextual menu button than the new button and here it is. Our application is up and running but there is an issue here. The contextual menu has created one more toolbar above the default toolbar. But we need this contextual menu to be inflated in the toolbar that is already existing. In the next video we will be rectifying this error in our application and customizing our contextual menu a little bit. That's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do share and leave your comment below the video. Subscribe to our channel and help us grow. I also have given the link for the source code of the entire module below in the description.
you can go there and refer to it. That's all for this video. For further videos, stay tuned, keep smiling and have a good day.